Welcome back. So today we're going to go over how to create a simple budget uh, tool that you can keep track of your finances, hopefully save you some money, move out of your parents' basement, those kind of things. Save for retirement, whatever. It doesn't matter how far along you are in life, um, this tool will help you. Um, so the first thing I would do before even approaching this is I would write out all of my expenses. Take a sheet of paper, go into Excel, type them out. Everything you spend money on, put it in there um, so you can see exactly where all your money's going. There's no need to do this if you don't know where all your money's going. So write out everything, your Netflix, your Hulu, um, you know how much money you're spending eating out on average, that kind of thing. Figure all that out um, and then write it down. Once you do that, uh, you need to put it in here in Excel. So I have lumped like water and electricity together in my utilities, um, my subscriptions, that's my Netflix and Hulu again. Um, I did not lump water park and dumb purchases together because I've never thought going to the water park was a dumb purchase. <laughs> um, but And then I have a, a savings section here. So this is all of my expenses. My income's listed here. And then I have a little... Um, box here with a simple little formula uh, some formula which adds all these together and then F20 that's my income some income minus all these added up is how much I have left over and I have a little conditional formatting there that is option um, as optional uh, just to show when I'm when I have money left over it's green and then when there's not enough money in there it's red and the way you do that of course is conditional formatting highlight cell rules greater than less than and you put them on that cell right there. So click the cell, conditional formatting, then you go in there and do it. We have a video on that actually. I will link that down below if you're curious, uh, but that is entirely optional. Um, so once you have all that figured out, you have your formula set up, you see um, you know, all your expenses are typed out, it's time to, to label them by type. So utilities, for example, that's gonna be a need, okay? Um, eating out, that's gonna be a want. You don't have to eat out, of course. Um, gas, that's probably going to be a need. Uh, I know some people live in a city and you know having a car is more of a luxury because there's public transport. Um, so use your own discretion with these, but, but be honest and truthful. Like you don't have to have your Netflix and Hulu, right? That, that's a need. Um, and you're going to category these in the, you're going to put these in three categories, excuse me. And uh, we're going to make a drop down list for that. So I'm going to go to data, data validation here and in the data tool section. Go to list. And then we're going to do needs, wants, and we'll do savings. Hit OK. And then I'm going to drag all this down. And now I can uh, label each of these in its appropriate category. Uh, so I'm going to do that really fast. So once all this is done, I'm actually going to put all of this in a pivot table on a separate sheet. So I'm going to bring up another sheet. Do insert over here at the top, pivot table. I'm going to ask for a table slash range. I'm going to highlight this chart here. I'm not going to put in the income and leftover, just my expenses. And hit OK. And it's going to formulate the pivot table field um, here on the separate sheet. I do have a whole video on pivot tables as well. I'll also link that down below. Uh, but just for our sake, what you want to do is you're going to put the money for the values and you're going to put the type for the rows. So it's going to look like this um, once it's done. So once it's brought up, then you can go over here to the values again. Go to value field settings. Go to go show value as. And then when it says no calculation, you're going to change that to percentage of grand total. And now what that's done is it's put into percentages of how much your needs, your savings, and your ones are. And so once that's in percentages, what you're going to do is you're going to insert. Um, we're going to do pivot chart. And I actually want to do it in a pie chart. I just like the pie chart, but you can do whatever you want. And once you have your pie chart here, I'm going to rename it to um, expenses by percentages. Okay, and you might be thinking, well, you know, yeah, it's percentages, but you can't really see what's what. Easy enough, you go over here to your little plus button and select data labels, and now you can see each section by percentages. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to cut this, bring it over to sheet two, and I'm going to put it mm, right there is fine. And I'm going to keep the source formatting, um, 
and there we go. So there's our expenses. Now it doesn't matter how much we change things. I can change the insurance uh, to, to 500 a month or whatever have you. Hit enter and then I can go over here and refresh the data and there you go. Check the part, the chart changes for you and you should be good to go. Now this looks a little messy though so let's clean it up. Um, and the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to go over to page layout and um, I'm actually going to fill the back end of this chart in first. So we're going to fill that chart in with a little bit of gray just so we can see everything nice and good. Um, and I'm actually going to fill all of these in as well with a little bit of gray. Yeah. A little bit of gray. And then I'm going to go to um, insert text, do a text box. And let's just do um, budget oh, budget um, for, um, let's say, April uh, 22, however you want to say it. Um, and then I'm going to center that for us. And it's a little small, so let's make it big. Let's go up to, yeah, there we go. And I'm actually going to remove these back grid lines. So I'm going to go over to page layout. Remove the grid lines and the headings. And the last thing we're going to do, just to make this look really cool, is we're going to do a background. Um, go to page layout, background, um, and let's just do um, blue. Let's look up blue on Bing Image Search and see what comes up. Um, that looks good. Insert that color blue. And there we go. That looks so good. Um, Let's do a little more color in there, there. And there we go, a simple, easy budget sheet in Excel. Um, you know, it's a simple sheet, but it gets the job done. Um, as far as my expenses goes, we see that my needs are kind of high here. Um, you know, they say you should follow that rule, the, the 50, 30, 20 rule, which was you spend 50% of your income on your needs. 30% of your wants and 20% of your savings. Looks like I'm pretty good on the wants, but my needs and my savings are a little um, out of whack. So I need to go in here and change all of that up. But again, this is just some sample data I created. Um, you know, you're, um, hopefully your expenses look a lot better than mine. Uh, but um, either way, that is it for this video. Again, super simple sheet. You can make it a lot more complicated, sure, but this is an easy, easy way anybody can, can do this. Um, but if you have any questions about uh, this or anything Excel related, please comment them down below. Please do like and subscribe. We work hard on every single one of our videos and we read all of your comments and suggestions and we appreciate them very, very much. Um, and hey, you never know, one of your questions or comments may end up being a whole video. Uh, but again, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for tuning in. We'll see you again next time and we hope you have a great day. Thanks. Hey, thanks so much for watching our video. Now before you go, how would you like to get free access to tons of Excel content that is designed to help make your life easier and your business better? Free Excel tutorials, Excel PDF guides, mini courses, and even a book I'm writing right now. Well, if you don't want to miss out on those opportunities, make sure you check out the description of this video. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and the notification icon so that you can stay up to date on all the stuff we're doing here on YouTube. Oh, and by the way, my name is Colton Coffin, and I am the founder and CEO here at Custom Excel Spreadsheets, where we help business owners and professionals get more done using tools that do exactly what they need. We help you get organized and automate tasks that save you time and money, and build collaborative tools that allow your team to perform and to engage at a higher level. And we also create some awesome visualizations that just bring your data to life and help it to tell a story that is meaningful and compelling. So I look forward to serving you with more content in the future, and I hope to see you again soon. Thanks.